Hello, Nomad Sculpt and Printable Seamless Textures. This is a small update video um, on the other video before, yes, a complex video. So, um, if you have already um, an object with a nice UV map or a UV map you can work with, so something like this here so then it's possible to apply the textures here um, so first I increase the poly count so let's say yeah, use a high poly count 3 million and then apply the here on the opacity slot the texture so let's choose yeah yeah let's try such a scales texture and okay so this is the texture we get when we reproject it on the mesh. Okay, so as always here add a layer. So and the next thing here is we can um, mask here parts uh, but you have to choose. So you can now apply the whole texture on the on the mesh or you can um, hide parts for example um, here use a cell mask here the lasso and um, hide these parts so you can it before you can do it before or later so at the moment i apply the texture on the whole mesh so here i use reproject the color here's the color slot and reproject it on the mesh. So I check it here if the mask works. So it looks like this. So and I use my inflate tool and see what happens. That's too much. So I think I'm happy with this um, result. So I check the the sub version here. Yeah, this this is looking good, but I'm. I go a step back before reprojecting and I rotate the mesh here. So maybe uh, in the opposite direction, so 180 degrees. Yeah, you can set here the value. Let's apply the texture in this direction. This is okay, I think. So, okay. Now we have our texture. So the opacity map we don't need anymore, none. And so 
the next thing here is we have here our um, texture on, on the layer. So this here it's possible to use the delete layer tool. Um, so and we can, sorry, we have to clear the mask. So on this mesh we can, ah, wrong tool, delete layer. So here we can um, delete the parts of the mesh we don't need uh, with a texture. So here's a face or something. Um, you can brush here along or the feet. Um, yeah, this is one way. And the other way is here when we go back to the point here before using the inflate tool. So here it's possible to mask parts. Here use the cell mask and mask for example the arm. Or here the parts of the feet or the legs and yeah and the head we don't need also so this parts here the to see it better um, now only this parts are masked or yeah so now only the yeah the unmasked parts are affected. So when I brush now here with the inflate tool, we get this nice texture on the mesh. So yeah, <coughs> and. This is the result. Yeah, I hope you understand everything I tell you. So, okay. Um, yeah, and for sure uh, the delete layer uh, brush here works also. So you can play and um, with the delete layer um, brush it's yeah you can do um, nice things here you can bring back here the structures If you like. Oh, I have to test this uh, paint delete layer possible. Yeah, I think, but it it doesn't work. No. Yeah, okay. Have fun with sculpting. <laughs> Ciao.